What's up guys, it's me Don Fanatic and welcome to my very first ever top 5. This week I will be discussing the top 5 characters who I believe are worthy of a place in Smash Bros. Obviously the Smash Ballot has been a huge success, obviously going to give Nintendo a headache due to the amount of different characters being entered into the ballot to be put into Smash Bros. Obviously there's going to be so many different diverse options but these 5 in order are the characters I believe would benefit or be very suited for Smash Bros. So let's get straight into it. In the fifth slot we have Banjo from the game series Banjo and Kazooie. I personally have never played these games and that's actually the main reason why I'd like to see him in Smash. I don't know much about him, all I know is it's kind of a fun adventure game and he last appeared in the Nintendo 64 edition, at least that was the last Nintendo appearance he made. He's now owned by Rare I believe who are an Xbox exclusive game developer, just don't quote me on that, don't quote me on a lot of things. Um, it's, it's received public backing from Rare and they'd be very willing to let Banjo be included in the Super Smash Bros. ballot. And so I find that really nice. Lots of people probably don't know who Banjo is, um, never got to experience the game like I did. I was kind of born when I was maybe a bit too young when the N Nintendo 64 came out. So I haven't experienced the game. I could obviously go pick it up right now. But it looks like a fun game and a fun character um, who has the potential for lots of different moves. He obviously has the little bird on his back. I guess that's Kazooie. I don't know. But um, it could work in a very similar fashion um, to Duck Hunt Duo. Um, so that's kind of why I think he might be suitable for the game. However, he might be a bit similar. I guess he probably doesn't have exploding cans, but maybe uh, the use of the bird would be kind of similar. Um, but I think it'd be a nice addition purely because not many people have experienced him before. And that's why I've put Banjo in at number five. In the number four slot, we have Rayman. Rayman is a game series I remember fondly from my childhood, playing it on the PlayStation 1. Even my mother played it in her spare time, and she doesn't play video games at all. She loved it. She always completed the levels I was unable to do, which was always nice. But obviously, Rayman is a game series well known by a lot of people for a lot of generations. He's been going around for quite a while, and he's multi-platform, so he reaches all sorts of audiences. He's had a, a very few, but he has had some appearances over the last few years, but he's obviously a character that is well known, and people obviously want him in Smash. People went absolutely nuts when the fake was uh, released of the edited screenshot of the Super Smash Bros menu of a shop and Rayman as a playable character next to Mewtwo. People thought it was legitimate, it was such a good fake, but obviously people were quite disappointed when they found out it was a fake and he wasn't in the game. Rayman has got the build which could make him use all sorts of crazy moves with his disjointed limbs, I guess. He could do all sorts of crazy spins, punches, kicks, headbutts, grabs, uh, final smashes even. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless with Rayman. He seems too good uh, a fit to not be included in Smash. That's why I think he should be in at number four. In at number 3 we have I, I the Monkey from Super Monkey Ball. I think Smash has enough room for some more Sega characters, and Super Monkey Ball is one of Sega's more successful game series, especially on the Nintendo platforms. Uh, don't quote me, but I believe it may have also reached other platforms in its lifetime, but I think Nintendo is probably where it's had its most success. I, I is the monkey, uh, who obviously rolls around in a little ball, collects bananas and stuff. Obviously we have Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. I think that'd be the only reason why he shouldn't be included. Otherwise, he could be a fun little character rolling around in his ball, doing all sorts of jumps and rolling attacks and spin attacks and bomb explosion and attacks and throwing bananas and things like that. Maybe not in the same way Diddy Kong goes. At least if he's confined to a ball, he can't do his stupid hoo-hahs. Um, but I, I would be an interesting character. He could kind of be a cross between Diddy Kong and Bowser Jr., who is confined to a round little vehicle thing half the time. So I think the ball could work in a funny way like that. All sorts of cool uh, jumps and tricks could be performed in that ball. It's just an idea I think would work really nicely in Smash. Obviously, he doesn't have much representation anymore. The series doesn't seem to be around as much these days. And it would just be a nice sort of feeling of nostalgia for me because I did play some of the games, not religiously, but some were fun. Um, so I think it would be kind of nice to bring a character like I, I back to the scene and could especially be the foundation for a brand new Super Monkey Ball game. That's why I've decided to put I, I in at number three. 
Perching in number two, we have Billy Egghatcher. If you guys don't know who he is, go and Google the game Billy he Egg. I can't speak. Billy Egghatcher and the Giant Egg. This game came out on GameCube quite some time ago. Um, it was the first GameCube game me and my brother owned, and we were just not able to play it. We were obviously too young to grasp the concept of what we were meant to do. Um, but it's a game series which died basically, um, along with Banjo and Kazooie. That they haven't had a sequel. Um, Super Monkey Ball has been a bit quiet over the last few years, so it's another character which I think could you know, benefit from an appearance in Smash, gain some popularity in over the internet, and maybe get a new series out of it. Obviously, it's been a long time since I've played Billy Eggcatcher, so I can't remember too much about it, but I did always enjoy it. It was colourful, there were lots of different mechanics, the character itself seems to be a pretty good uh, fit for Smash. It's about a, it's a young boy dressed in a chicken outfit kind of thing. Not like a chicken outfit, but he has like a rooster hat on, and has like a blue outfitty thing but I mean he's got hands and feet so he can obviously punch and kick he can summon eggs he can summon chickens he can do all sorts so I honestly think he has a diverse enough character as to where he could be a really interesting character in Smash the reason I want him so high up this list is because I have seen no one else mention it and when I mentioned it originally on Twitter I got pretty decent feedback on the idea because people have obviously forgotten about him that's why I think Billy Eggcatcher should be in at number two Finally, in at number one, we have a game character who I personally didn't originally think of, but thank you Godworm for pointing this out on Twitter to me. Um, it's a game series I actually really enjoy and have played a few games of, and that is Professor Layton. Maybe not Luke so much, but Professor Layton. I definitely feel he deserves an appearance in Smash. I believe he's now had six games, or is going to have six games, um, out on the Nintendo DS. He's also made an appearance with Phoenix Wright, who is also another very uh, acceptable character I believe could be put in Smash but didn't make my top 5 honourable mention kind of material uh, Professor Layton, the only thing I'm not sure about him is, I'm not sure what his moveset would be um, obviously Nintendo made Pac-Man really creative, it was kind of obvious what Pac-Man could do but they've done it so well, so it kind of proves that they can make characters good without much diversity and options available um, and that's why I have hope for Professor Layton, he's definitely definitely maintained a high standard of quality in his games they've always been fun to me puzzle games are it's kind of like a dying genre really but i really love the professor layton uh games it's also one my mum enjoyed playing i mentioned she played raid man uh not many other games but she did really like playing professor layton uh she got a ds and that for christmas one year and she played it like the whole holiday um and so he's a character who a lot of people know. Kids can play the game and adults can play the game. So I think he'd be a really nice fit. He could also work really uniquely. Um, maybe he could have Luke as an alternative skin or something. I don't know. I think it's called Luke. Um, the young boy, his assistant. But I honestly think Professor Layton could work out as a really niche character. I really want to see him in the game. It's just a question of what moves could he have that make him niche. I mean... He's such a cool looking character, his art style is amazing, and I just want him in Smash. That's my top 5 guys. If you guys disagree, agree, uh, have your own top 5s, leave it in the comments section below. Obviously leave a like, let's get P uh, Professor Layton into Smash, that's who I really want to push and get into this game series. I think I, I and Billy Air Catcher though also deserve honourable mentions. I haven't seen them mentioned anywhere, but these first, uh, number 3, 2 and 1, are the more niche characters who I believe would be awesome for Smash. So guys, thanks for listening to my opinion, let me know what yours are. See you next time, bye.